The definition of coward is a person who lacks the courage to do or endure dangerous or unpleasant things, or excessively afraid of danger or pain. And finally, in animalistic terms, it is depicted with the tail between the hind legs. And in this video, I am going to depict all of those traits in one of the internet's biggest cowards, in my opinion, with so much around him but so little to follow afterwards, that being Hassan Piker. But I must say first and foremost, hey yo, I'm toasted. Uh, ideas. And here I talk about things that interest me. I like to think about things critically and have my own opinion because then I'm not a sheep to any specific person or thing. I cover topics from the left to topics from the right, while also not forgetting about the topics in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Now, to continue forward, I must start this off with a clip of his favorite phrase in the past couple years or so. A while ago, these guys that I don't know anything about, okay, and still don't know anything about, made uh, a video, I think, about... Title is true. Haas and I be called as transphobes, hear why. And then the answer is, you know, because we're transphobes. Transphobic. 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 Transphobia. Transphobic. 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 Transphobes. Transphobic. 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 That's right, it. No, there's another like 35 transphobes in there, but I'm gonna save them for later. <laughs> for those of you watching a little bit confused, you guys don't know who Hasanabi is. Hassan Piker is the nephew of Shank Uger who owns TYT, the Young Turks Network. And Hasanabi himself, uh, he's a political streamer who's always on Twitch. He also happens to be a millionaire socialist. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? That don't make sense. The millionaire socialist? I mean, that don't make sense. What? That don't make sense. And just to let it be known, I'm probably not going to cover over the last part of him being a millionaire socialist. But what I am going to start this topic off with is how he calls anyone and everyone who he disagrees with a transphobe. Or in other words, in better terms, actually. He just flings crap in every other direction than to admit when he himself is wrong. Because I think he fears social danger when it comes to targeting him. And to such a degree that he even calls a trans person, or someone who identifies as such, as just a trans person. His son's relationship with the trans community is interesting. He once lost a trans-related debate and people in his community were rightfully upset with him because they felt like he made them look bad. My issue as a trans person is the fact that you, a guy that isn't super well-versed on trans shit, brought on a known transphobe knowing he might bring up transphobic shit. You aren't exactly a vosh of trans debates. Fair point. Let's see how humble his response is. I hope, I hope that the rest of your life is as horrible as it is every single day. Okay, there you go. Suck my dick. I despise you. I despise you more than anything else on the planet. You are fucking cancer, okay? You are cancer in this community, and you're cancer in every community. Suck my dick. For the past 15 months, you've been able to fucking hide in these ranks. You cat boy fuck. Move your cat boy ass out of here. You are never welcome. I don't think Hassan hates trans people. He just hates the ones that don't agree with them all the fucking time. You are just a trans person. Sorry. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. What a guy. And tells him to suck his staff of inferiority. He doesn't explain his own ineptitude. He just goes off the rip and tells the trans person to suck him off because, I, I don't know, just because he disagrees with complaint. Or as I would put it, he is weak. And my reason for saying that is because he has clearly shown that he is incapable of admitting when he is wrong. And I believe that it is not strength to hide failure, but instead weakness to hide that. He lacks courage to endure unpleasant feelings. So what does he do when he does? 
He just flings crap in every other direction than himself. That being calling them a transphobe, racist, or Nazi. And worst of all, he'll do that on just a whim that someone is against him. Sometimes people will just say something to the effect of, so and so made a video on you in his comment section, and then Hassan will immediately jump to one of those things without actually watching the video. When a creator by the name of Adam something made a video debunking the Gravel Institute's terrible video, Hassan, instead of choosing to watch Adam's video and learn more about the conflict, decided to just call Adam a Nazi. Side with the now deleted video. Adam something posted a 40 minute video about how Gravel lies about Azov, so a bunch of Euro sock dems might come in here being fucking annoying. Dude, I'm sorry to say this, but you know, Europeans and fucking being secret crypto neo Nazis goes hand in hand sometimes, okay? Europe and uh, pro-NATO Europeans being a fucking fan of Nazis or running defense for Nazis is not exactly news to me, okay? Holy shit. This guy hasn't even watched the video yet and is already coming to this conclusion. Adam then responded to Hassan by calling him stupid. Hassan then claims Adam can only come to that conclusion if he's racist. Hassan didn't mean to insult me. He simply reached the narrow limits of his understanding of the world. Dude, I literally, dude. I can't, I can't do this. The narrow limits. Yeah, dude, just fucking say I'm a Turk roach with a cockroach brain and move on, okay? Yeah, fuck it. I'm saying it, dude, okay? This motherfucker, not exactly out of the alt-right pipe, uh, uh, pipeline, okay? Straight up, dude. He's not calling you stupid because you're from Turkey. He's calling you stupid because of the things you say. This dude is so ready to pull the race card the second he gets in trouble. How about you just take accountability for what you say just one time in your life? And as usual, if anyone is bringing race into something and being hateful about it, it's Hassan. These fucking horny, westoid, angloid brained, disgusting filth. Then you're fucking dumbass, podunk, Hungarian city that you love jerking off to about its fucking, you know institutions and, and civil engineering. Disgusting filth, dude. Eurocentrist trash. Euro trash, motherfucker. Furthermore, when Jay finally made a video articulating why some of Hassan's reactions aren't fair use and why his excuses suck, Hassan in return calls Jay a Nazi, all while making stuff up about them. This is what I said one fucking year ago. Since then, he made a video, or they made a video. Afterwards, they uh, had like a bunch of fucking Nazis in the kill stream get together and do an eight hour reaction to my entire stream. This is just not true for so many reasons. For one, Jay's trans. Why would Jay be a Nazi? You know what? I'll just let Jay explain it themselves. Here are Hassan's beautiful accusations that he makes against me, which as far as I'm aware, 40,000 people who were watching this stream live have just taken it as, as fact that this stuff is all true um, when it doesn't approach being true in, in any way. This is what I said one fucking year ago. Yeah, he keeps saying it was a year ago, and I was like, no way time traveled that quick. No, right? it wasn't anywhere near a year ago. It was half a year ago. Yeah, he keeps bringing up, it's like, yeah, it happened a year ago. A year ago, like really fucking adamantly, and it's really funny just to know that, no, it didn't. Not even close. They made a video. Afterwards, they uh, had like a bunch of fucking Nazis in the kill stream get together and do an eight hour reaction to my entire stream. And he says, I had so Nazis good. get together on a kill stream. This is, this is what happened apparently. Just to be clear, right? This is a bunch of libs getting on, together on EFAP in a capacity with which I was not involved in any way. Like a, pr a group of predominantly libs do an EFAP which I am just not fucking involved in, he is summed up as, I arrange a stream of killstream Nazis to go over his thing. <laughs> to go over his stream. And so that alone is a good standing for why I find him to be a coward. Because he lacks the ability to endure unpleasant things, and then reacts with a good old red herring because he lacks the strength to face the music and admit when he is wrong. Now, Continuing on with another example of him being a coward in where he talks about deleting X because he couldn't stand people being angry at his god-awful take on the hardships within the working world. 
I worked in sales. So it was like a very social <laughs> job as well. So I know exactly what like yeah. people pleasing mm. looks like. And it's like being annoying and awful, right? Mm. So I was making a comparison between like my experience as a salesperson versus my experience as a Twitch streamer. And I was like, it's so soul sucking. Like it's so soul crushing. And I can't socialize after that. And I feel so bad because I was talking about going to March's house. March at a housewarming party. None of you guys were invited. These are not cool. I was invited. I didn't remember until yesterday. I was there, right? And I brought Kaya and she was being the best girl. But I also felt like I was looking like an asshole to every single person because I was like pouting the whole time. I'm really fucking tired. Mm. I take one drink well, with Well, it's March. always the Hassan show. <laughs> I, I take one drink with... And I was like, I have to get the out of here. Like, I, I'm so I'm so tired. You got hung over immediately? Yeah, I think it's because like I'm fucking tired after nine and a half hours of streaming, right? Um, They clipped it like 30 seconds of it to be like, Hassan, streamer says, dumb socialist streamer says like, fucking real jobs are way easier than streaming and it's like that's not what i was saying here's the fucking context nobody gives a shit there's like hundreds of thousands of fucking likes led me to actually uh delete twitter what? i deleted twitter from my phone yeah it's really it's really important for me to have twitter on my phone for my job obviously i need to like constantly be fucking up to date on what the fuck's going on in the world but i feel like at this point it's just not worth it it's it's so like being in being on twitter it's and being extremely cell. online <laughs> yeah. is is literally like being in a room where you're making the dumbest people on the fucking planet yell at you nonstop. <laughs> and so you're not using Twitter ever again. No, no, I, I no, he just took he'll it use off it, his phone. He'll use it on his PC. Yeah, I just, I, cause I need to have it for my work. But, um, but yeah, I'm not gonna, cause yeah. I, you just been, I was like looking at it and it was like fucking me up. Well, yeah, you were up really late last night. <sighs> no, I, I went to sleep at like 11. I just woke up at four and I was like going through Twitter and I was just like, fuck this, dude. Uh, like, what the fuck am I doing? I deleted it. Good for you. Yeah. That's that's this is a positive step in your mental health. And you know what? Kudos to him for deleting X, cause everyone should do that, as it's just a complete and utter cesspool of garbage. But for starters here, he's a coward cause he deletes X only off of his phone. When you know he could just not go on his phone to start off with. Like He's such a coward that he even half asses his own solution to his own problems. He could source his videos on via YouTube, or even as a commenter pointed out, pay someone to look through his X feed. But no, what does he decide to do? He decides to delete X and then grandstand about all the hate he got for saying that his job is more socially taxing than a regular job. You know. His job that he willfully does and could stop doing for a couple of days because he is that he is in that privileged position where he can do that, whereas the normal person cannot because they don't make enough money to do that freely like Hassan does. But no. My apologies, because apparently being social at a drinking party is more important than knowing if you're going to be bringing in enough money for rent this month, or for food, or just the essentials. Cough, cough, party drinks are not essential, but I guess, what do I know? Anywho, I think Abba speaks perfectly clearly on what everyone else is thinking about Hassan in that clip. You just might not be built for this lifestyle. Doesn't make the job hard. Because I'm not going to lie to you, some of you content creators are brittle as f***. Mm. And Hassan has got to be the most brittle person. He's always crying and whining and b***ing about the fact that people are cr It's so unfair. People just hate me. Shut up. I, I, oh, I, shut up. You're just brittle. The job's not hard. You're soft. That's not the same thing. The job's not hard. This job is hard. not difficult. You're These guys are just soft. And if you look at their history of what they did as work before, not a single one of them had a truly difficult job. Not one. Hassan wanted to lie, but he was in sales. Bruv, you did that for like a couple months. That was it. And then you went up to work for your fucking uncle because you're a Nepo baby. Most of these people have never had to do difficult jobs. And the ones who do generally don't find this shit hard. And so, in full, what have I outlined here and why I think he is a coward? Well, for starters, he's weak and doesn't take accountability for his misdeeds. He acts like he's unable to endure unpleasant feelings, even though he 
quote unquote seeks out criticism. This shit is a comedy. The criticism that was thrown in my uh, in my face uh, has been consistent throughout my career. I'm an idiot. Yes. I'm a dumb uh, bimbo. Yes. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh my god, yes. I've gotten numb to the criticism. Like it's not. It's I as a matter of fact, I seek it out now. You dumb cracker bitch. This person no, no, no. has really, literally never been around really black people. Thing. Here's a person who does not have a single black or a brown time. friend. You are just a trans person. Sorry, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Disgusting filth, dude. Eurocentrist trash. Euro trash, motherfucker. They uh, had like a bunch of fucking Nazis in the kill stream. Now look at all these Death fucking legal. horny, westoid, angloid brained, disgusting filth. I hope, I hope that the rest of your life is as horrible as it is every single day. Yes, this guy handles criticism really well. He engages very honestly with it. Hardy har har. Kinda like how we sought out criticism when he actively didn't take accountability when a trans person called him out for being ill-prepared when bringing on a quote-unquote well-known transphobe. I wasn't there, I don't know who it was. Anywho, and then from that calling out, he, one, banned that person, two, said how their life should be horrible, and three, told him to suck his staff of inferiority, and fourthly, just dumbed down their entire existence to that person being just a trans person. Nothing less and nothing more. And finally, he still didn't take accountability. And now for the final point on why I think he is a coward, he deleted X because he was getting hate comments. So much for that I seek out criticism spiel that he went on. But I think that that's just about enough on this topic of how I find Hassan Piker to be a coward. And you tell me, do you disagree and find me to be a transphobe, racist, or Nazi due to my take? Or perhaps you'll agree with my take. Either way, I'd like to find you down in the comments making statements that are open to discourse. But while you're down there, perhaps you could consider hitting that subscribe button to become a fellow bread bag. And also hit that like button so that people who may not have seen this video can see this video in so that they might join the bread box as well. Cause once again, we need more bread. But either way, I hope to see you in the next video. But until then, have a good one.